Okay, guys, more Garage Band tutorials. Um, this again is about making your own MIDI drum patterns in Garage Band. In the last one, I made a, a reggae beat and then just added a few other instruments. Here's where I've got it so far. I've done a little bit more work on it. Okay, now um, I put that video online and somebody asked, is there a way that I can take a drummer pattern that I kind of basically like, change it so it is a MIDI note pattern and then tweak some of the drums, like maybe slightly change the snare pattern. So what he means is this. Um, let's move to all these. Let's say we have a drummer track, right? And the default drummer Kyle is on here. So let's say I make a custom Kyle beat. Okay, this is the current beat, which is the Kyle pattern called Half Point. So I'm gonna make a Pattern number one for the kick and snare. Take the snare out completely. Take the hats out and have toms instead, no fills. Tom pattern three. And then just bring the complexity back so my kicks are less often. Like that. This is my custom pattern I've created. Now, let's say I want to convert that to MIDI notes so I can tweak some of the drums in the pattern. Okay, well, here is uh, an instrument track with a drum kit on it. Here's another instrument track with a drum kit on it. If I grab this pattern that I've tweaked and, and edited and try and drag it up onto one of these instrument tracks with a drum kit on it, it says, not a drummer track. Drag MIDI region here, and there's a padlock below the mouse. You can't do it. But there is a way to do it. With the new garage band, all the drummer loops, like it, same as in Logic, all the drummer loops are in the library under the category drummer. These are all the preset pattern drummer loops for every single drummer, including the percussionists. And in the library loops for the drummers here, um, you get extras. So each drummer, all the patterns um, for Kyle, for example, are the, the ones that are here, I've got Kyle on this track, right? So here's the editor, here's all Kyle's preset patterns on the editor. Here they are in the library, but you get extras in the library. So our drummer loops, presets, patterns for each drummer live in the library. You just drag them on and drop them, and it switches the drummer to whatever drummer that is, and there's the pattern as a drummer pattern, a yellow drummer pattern playing on the track, right? But we can make our own drummer patterns. So here's the one I've convert I've I've edited. All right? Kick and snare pattern 1, tom pattern 3, no other drums just toms and kick. Quite simple complexity. There's my pattern. So what I do now is I just drag it and drop it over the library, the loop library. And a green plus appears next to the mouse. Doesn't matter what uh it doesn't matter what category my library's in. I just drag that, grab that drummer loop, drag it over the loop library, green plus appears, let go. This box appears. This basically means that in this drummer pattern there is a few events fractionally before beat one, bar one, you know, the absolutely beginning. And it's asking you, do you want to move all the other tracks a little bit or do you want to just adjust the actual drummer pattern? So we choose upbeat to adjust just the drummer pattern. Any uh, drum hits that are fractionally before beat one, bar one, um, they get moved uh, to be at the very, very start of the pattern. Position bar one, beat one, uh, division one, um, tick one or whatever it is, right? So just click upbeat. Now this appears, now we're gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it my Kyle, because I started with a Kyle pattern and adjusted it. My Kyle pattern two, because I've made one already. Leave it on loop here. I ain't going to bother to give it a category or anything like that. Just leave all this. Create. This pops up again. Just click upbeat. A little bit of uh, beach ball. All done. Now if I go in my loop library to my loops, there's my pattern my Carl pattern too I can click and audition it right now it's in the library I can drag it onto an instrument track with a drum kit on it and it gets converted to MIDI notes drag it 
drop it on this instrument track. It still says there, look, not a drummer track. Drag a green apple loops here, but let go, and there it is as MIDI notes. Now, it won't sound the same because this kit is different, but if we drag it down onto the Kyle track, it's the same. Have a listen. Okay, just delete that. If I were to drag this pattern I created, if, if I were to drag it onto the an actual drummer track, it it gets imported as a drummer pattern. So you you can't do it that way. If you want to just stick with your drummer track and have a MIDI pa uh, a converted pattern converted to MIDI and tweak it on an actual drummer track, then first you drag your pattern to any instrument track. It doesn't have to be an instrument track with a drummer on it. Like I could drag it to this Liverpool bass track, but that just gets it to convert to MIDI. Then you can drag it down onto the drummer track and you'll trigger that drummer track drum kit exactly the same as the original yellow pattern. Here's the original pattern here I edited, the yellow one. And here's the MIDI converted pattern. Exactly the same. And now I can go in and tweak this and adjust any drums I want, add in any additional drums I want, you know, like that. Oh, let's move that across. You know, so now I could, I don't know, add anything I wanted, like um, put in a snare there. Yeah, just a snare every other hit maybe a double there you know what I mean you just tweak adjust the pattern to your heart's content that's how you do that okay